When Vermont State Trooper Michelle Archer arrived on scene at this frozen pond in Cambridge, she feared it was already too late. I saw this call come up on the screen. Six-year-old floating in a pond, possibly deceased. Just minutes earlier, an eight-year-old girl and her sibling plunged into the water after the ice cracked. The 80-year-old property owner able to save the younger child who was near the shore, but the eight-year-old unreachable near the center of the pond. I don't know if it's instinct or training, but, um, you know, something took over. Once on scene, Trooper Archer jumping into that freezing water and swimming toward the child. Hi, baby. She drags the girl to shore, putting her on her side. Then the remarkable realization. <laughs> the little girl was still alive. Well, the first sigh of relief came when I pulled her out of the water and I heard those kind of audible noises. Because um, at that point, I wasn't sure if if she was still breathing or not. She's making noises. Trooper Archer calling for her colleague to help. Here, baby girl. Here, baby girl. Michelle, get out of your clothes. Trooper Keith Cody making sure the eight-year-old was okay and taking her to an ambulance on site. We cover a widespread area, and for whatever reason, the both of us were three minutes away from this pond where this little girl needed help. The child taken to a hospital in Burlington with injuries that at first were thought to be life-threatening. But amazingly, she made a full recovery and is now back home. How's the other one? She's cold. The Vermont State Police Department now recommending the two troopers and the 80-year-old property owner for the agency's life-saving award. We come across calls that stick with us, um, you know, for a while, if not for the length of our careers and beyond. Um, so that this is definitely one of those calls that we'll always be thinking about. All right, Stephen Romo joins us now. Sorry, Stephen. It's just that video. It's just so hard to watch. I'm so happy she was rescued and she's alive. I think those troopers, they probably deserve a lot more than just awards, right? Because mm -hmm. they, they, they literally saved that little girl's life and it was very brave what they did. What are some tips that parents and people should always remember when they're around icy ponds like that? Yeah, this is a fascinating thing that I learned about this story. I grew up in Texas. don't really know much about this, but some of the things, uh, the tips that we have from these troopers, areas with moving water has thinner ice most of the time. Snow-covered ice also likely to be thinner, and uh, ice doesn't freeze uniformly. It freezes at different rates. And uh, snow-covered ice, uh, as we mentioned, thinner. Ice uh, with rocks, logs, and sticks, I didn't know about this one at all, is more likely to be weaker. And shady areas also likely to have thinner ice. Some important tips there, but the thing that I'm left with is the trooper that we talked to saying that it's really not worth it. The risk versus reward here for playing on ice, especially letting kids play on ice, it's just not worth it. It's it's never going to be something that's a good situation. I, I agree with that. And again, that trooper just jumping into that icy pond, not knowing what she was going to find. Um, our Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.